guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Christy. I've been seeing a lot how Hey Guys is the most popular way to start your videos and I've never once done it. So I was feeling left out. So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Anyways, I was contacted to turn a zipper into a lace-up corset back. I've done a lace up back. I'll link that video in the description box. What I've never done is use a corset kit, truth be told, sorry. Thanks for hiring me. Yeah, it's for a bridesmaid dress. It, it actually turned out really well. And these are super simple to use. If you are interested in turning a too tight dress that has a zipper into a corset, I totally recommend a corset kit. I'll link the one that I used in my description box below. If you click on it and order, I get a very small kickback from it, so. Thank you in advance. It actually was really easy, a lot easier than I was thinking in my head. It was a beautiful dress, but she couldn't breathe in it. Breathing's good, you have to breathe. And there's so much good food at weddings, you don't wanna miss out on that because your dress is too tight. It was very easy. I don't know why I was so scared. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video. If you're ready, I'm ready, I'm so excited. Thanks for being here. Here is Amber's bridesmaid dress with a zipper that goes past the asymmetrical waistline. She can zip it up. However, to be able to breathe and eat at this wedding, she understandably would like it to be a little looser on top. I bought this three-piece corset kit from Amazon, which comes with a modesty panel sewn to the loops along the left side and a free set of loops for the right side, as well as ribbons so long they could have laced up my entire house. First step before diving into the scary step is to take off the hook and eye at the top. Now that that's been removed, it's time to dive into the scary part of this project and take off the zipper from this beautiful dress. A quick-ish er, way to do this is to unpick about every fifth stitch then when you flip it over to the other side, lightly pull the stitches and they start coming undone a little easier, sometimes with some gentle encouragement from your seam ripper. This no doubt was the longest and most tedious part of this entire project. Yep, still going. until I have finally unpicked the last oh. stitch, setting the zipper free. This dress has a lining layer and an outer shell. You can just fit it in the middle and then top stitch it down. Or you can go an extra step and make it so that the stitches are not visible from the outside. To do so, line up the loops with the top and then turn it so that the loops face inward on the original zipper seam allowance. Pin the top in place. The goal here is to have just the loop stick out past the fold where the zipper was. I found it was helpful to line up the edge of the loop tape with the fold. Then what was even more helpful was you could still see where the old line of stitching was. So I pinned through that line, then also lined it up with the stitching on the loop tape. You can see me pushing the pins all the way through so that just the heads are exposed, which made it really easy to flip it around and make sure that everything was lined up correctly. Take your time with this. Once everything is pinned in place, I did one final check to make sure everything was still lined up before sewing. And then the previous line of stitching made a perfect guideline for where the new line of stitching should go. At this point, I was honestly shocked that everything was lining up and looking great. This is the tricky part, attaching it to the lining. Make sure that the top still lines up, then flip the two layers so that now the right sides are facing each other with the loop tape in between. The loops will be inside. Still using that line of stitching on the loop tape, now line up that previous line of stitching from the zipper to the loop tape stitching and pin through the layers. A 
As you can see, I had to adjust this a few times to get it right. Stick each pin through the fold where the zipper was. Check the other side to make sure it pokes out in the stitching on the loop tape. Once those two line up, secure the pin. And repeat this process the entire way down. Double check every once in a while just to make sure everything is lining up correctly. Once everything is pinned in place, sew on the zipper fold line, removing your pins as you go. Don't sew over your pins. Guys, I am seriously shocked at how easy this was and how good it looks. I mean, it looks like that's how the dress was originally made. Two thumbs up to this corset kit. Only some hand stitching left to close up the top and cut off the excess at the bottom, but we'll do both of those steps later. Now that the right side was completed way easier than I thought, I am feeling bold and I'm going to attempt to attach the left side all at once instead of sewing it to the shell and the lining separately. I lined up the top and have inverted the lining layer inside out, sandwiching the loops between the lining layer and the shell. The two dress layers are positioned right sides together with the loops facing inward. I had to check this multiple times to make sure it was working and lining up right. So don't be afraid to go slow, be careful and make sure you're doing it correctly. After everything is pinned in place, check to make sure the waist seams are still lining up and that the loops are facing inward. Again, it's really important that the loops are facing towards the middle of the dress. Sew on top of the zipper fold and that's it. This side was even easier. I did a real quick lace up of the dress just to see how it was looking. Once Amber has a chance to try it on, I will be able to see exactly where to sew a snap inside to keep the modesty panel in place. Now that I'm happy with how each side has turned out, I can close up the tops with some hand stitching. You can do this on your machine, but I feel like I have better control doing it by hand. Knot your thread and hide the knot within the fabric. Make a small parallel stitch right at the edge, even a little inside the edge of one side and pull it through. Place the needle directly across where the thread came out and make another small parallel stitch inside the opposite side of the fabric. This is called a ladder stitch. I like the ladder stitch because after you pull it tight, the stitches are practically invisible. Once you've reached the end, tie off a few knots. Then play a game called hide the tail. All this means is that you poke the needle inside between the layers down about an inch, pull it very tight, and then clip the thread at the base so that when you straighten out, the tail is hidden. I did the same ladder stitch to sew the layers right at the base of the corset. And now that both sides are finished, I could safely trim away the excess loop tape and finish off that raw edge. This corset kit could not have been easier. Five stars. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Enjoy Amber's YouTube Bridesmaid Dress Reveal.